My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Viv on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithviv.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. So today, we are celebrating New Year's Eve. So I've got my festive top on, my nails done like it's New Year's Eve because next week we are celebrating Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be reviewing the SC Valentine's Day collection next week. So this week, cheers to New Year's. Mmm, so good. So today I've got a super exciting collection for you. I have the Brilliant Brocades collection from Essie. It's part of the Gel Couture line. And these polishes were sent to me compliments of Beyond Polish. You guys, if you have not used Beyond Polish, go get on their website right now. They have amazing prices. They have all the new collections. So go. Like, right now. I'll, I'll wait. Okay, you can go later, that's fine. So the Brilliant Brocades collection consists of six polishes. So four of the polishes are kind of like that tone on tone pearl finish that we've been seeing a lot from Essie that I am obsessed with. And then two of the polishes are actually just creams. One might be kind of like a curly, but the other one's for sure just a cream. The colors are gorgeous. The formulas are awesome. Now let's get into the polishes. This first polish is High Society. This is a one to two coater. I did one coat here in the Life Swatch and two coats in the Swatch picture. This is described as a cool tone taupe with refined tone on tone pearl. Here you can see it compared to Last Nighty from the Gel Couture Sheer Silhouettes collection. Don't Be Salty from the Sea Glass Shimmers collection and it Pearl from the Holiday 2017 Gel Couture Collection. I do not have any dupes for this polish, and I feel like this polish reminds me of the old pantyhose that we used to wear that had kind of a shimmer to them. That doesn't sound like it's a pretty polish, but it really is a pretty polish. Okay, and then next up we have Tailored by Twilight. So I did three coats here in the live swatch, but I only did two coats in the swatch picture. You can see that it's pretty sheer on that first coat. It's described as a mid-tone plum with a cream finish. I actually feel like this is more of a jelly to crelly finish. After three coats, it's one of those polishes that looks almost black, similar to how Wicked is, but Wicked is much more maroon. I did compare it off camera here. You can see it compared here to Velvet Voyage, Very Naughty, and Bahama Mama. And then next up, we have this gorgeous blue. This is Brocade Crusade. This is another one coater. The formula on this one is to die for. It applies like butter. It's described as a slate blue with great undertones and tone on tone pearl. I don't have any blues in my collection that are similar to this polish. I compared it here to Lose This News and Tone Down. I compared several bottle shots as well off camera, but I have nothing like this gorgeous blue. And then we have Embossed Lady, another polish that applies like butter. This is a two coater described as a blackened purple with tone on tone shimmer. This polish is gorgeous. You can see it in the close up here. I love this one. I compared this polish to Frock and Roll and Hope Tub, but as you can see, both of those are darker than Embossed Lady. Okay, and then next up we have Jewels and Jacquard Only. This was the polish I was most excited about when I saw this collection. This is a two coater. The first coat is pretty sheer and you can see it here compared to one coat of Trophy Wife. I will show how they both compare after two coats here in a bit. This is described as a vibrant green base teal with tone on tone pearl for that soft sheen. And then here you see it compared to Trophy Wife. And you can see the close up here. Mm -hmm. 
Last but not least, we have Garment Glory. This is described as a mid-tone, creamy, blue-based pink. This is a one to two coater. I did one coat in the swatch picture, two coats in the live swatch. And this formula is another one that is to die for. I was sure I had a polish that was exactly the same match as this one, but I do not. Set the seam is a tad bit darker. Flowerista is a bit more grape. And Swing of Things is more maroon. I highly recommend Garment Glory. It's beautiful. All right guys, so which polish was your fave? I'm going to have to say Embossed Lady is my fave. This is an absolutely gorgeous color. Let me know which polish is your fave down in the comments. And then stay tuned for next week. Like I said earlier, we've got the Essie Valentine's Day collection coming to you with live swatches. I'll be doing some comparisons. So let me know what polishes you would like to see compared to any of these polishes. I'll go ahead and show you the polishes so you guys have an idea of um, what they look like. So you can let me know any comparisons you'd like to see. So this is Tug at the Harpstrings. And then we have Gilded Goddess. Next up is Cupid's Bow. This one looks really pretty. And Heart of Gold. This one reminds me of Mosaic on Down. And then we have Glow and Arrow. This looks kind of similar to Crush, I think Crush and Blush, but it's a little bit more purple. And then last but not least, we have Love is in the Air. I'll probably be comparing this polish to Without Reservations. Um, so let me know what polishes you would like to see compared to any of those. Otherwise, hope you guys all have an amazing week. Have an amazing Sunday. Love you all. Bye.